Oh, we live mobile. in the 505 or what? Let's go, Duke City. All right. You are now tuned in to Respect the Connect. Jay's here with me. What's up, Jay? Chilling, bro. What's good? Hey, fucking everything, bro. Everything's yes, good. You, you see where we're at, bro? Hey, I'm fucking turned, bro. You see this fucking wall of shoes behind us? Yeah, dog. I know the audience sees it because we're in focus, right? <laughs> we in focus, right, Dom? Yes. We in fucking focus. Listen, this is episode 14 of Respect the Connect, and it's a special fucking episode because we pulled up to Duke City Heat Duke make some City motherfucking Heat. noise. DCH. Hey. You know what it is. We got we got the young king here, Sonny. What's uh, up, brother? Blessed to be here. Here with his dad, Dave. What's up, brother? Man, Duke City Heat, happy to have you guys. Man, you see the hat, you know what time it is. You know the vibes. That's right. Man, I'm glad we're here, bro. I'm glad we're here. We got straight into the intro. This is episode 14, by the way. Make some motherfucking noise. Episode 14. 14. Respect, Respect the Dave connect. 14. I'm turned up and I'm not even drunk because we in a public, we in a public <laughs> place, so we ain't drinking. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, we, well, I mean, we here. You guys see it. You guys see it. You see the vibes. You see what the fuck's going down. Duke City Heat. This, we're going to just jump straight into it. I'm going to go with you first, Sonny. What got you into shoes, brother? Um, so I've kind of been all around it my whole life. My dad's been a lifelong collector, 15 plus years. And um, I was kind of born into the sneakers. And then my dad decided to kind of sell a couple pairs out of his collection. Uh -huh. And it was just something that me and him wanted to do. He started selling them. I wanted to follow his footsteps and just do it with him. It was something for us to just do together. So it just dope. kind of grew. Super dope. dope. That's the <laughs> shit. So how long um, have you guys officially, like, I know you guys probably been doing it, like, dabbling here and there since you yeah. said your pops has always been into it. How long have you guys, like, officially been doing it? Like selling? Yeah, like, for real, for real. Like, probably since I was, like, 10. And how old are you now? 14. <laughs> okay. Damn. Started okay. just off the rip. Off the rip. That's and I, and I, see, I see him around here, bro. He's hustling. He's working, too, taking Appreciate orders. That. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Appreciate that. That's what's up, dog. So, so Dave, brother, so he said you've been in the shoes. You, you, since, I mean, we grew up. We grew up with Jordans oh, as, man, like, the, the pinnacle. It's been a minute, man. I don't want to age myself, but it's been 20-plus uh, <laughs> years, my love affair with sneakers. So, uh, yeah, it's. The sneaker love isn't new, just the retail side. That is new. The, yeah, it's new. And um, having my son, you know, side by side as my partner, uh, lighting it up together, it's a real, it's a real humbling, real beautiful experience, man. The, the city, they just rallied around us, man. We, we the cash out kings, man. You come here, you already know, you've been here. Yep. You see how many bodies are in here, morning, noon, and night, seven days a week. They are here. We open up that gate, they are here. And um, it's just been an absolute blessing, fam. It's been incredible. Well, that's super special, though, dog. Like, your guys' story, you know, specifically, brother, like, like to be able to start a business like this, father and son, you guys both share the same passion for sneakers, dog. Right. Like, and to be able to turn that passion into, to be able to monetize that passion is fucking dope, dog. That's, that's like, yeah, man, I, I really fuck with it, bro, because obviously, you know what I'm saying, I got 100 kids, you know, the audience knows. <laughs> Audience knows my pullout game's trash. You know what I mean? I got four of them, and they're all different ages. So every time that, like, like you know, I, I introduced you to my oldest, bro. He's out here behind the cameras and shit. So to be able to build something um, with your kids like that, I know specifically from personal experience, that's special, dog. It's, it just it hits different. Uh, yeah, you know, we're monetizing that shit. There's no doubt. You know? <laughs> yeah. Pe pe people, know, people know what time it is out here. You know, we're putting on for the 505. That's facts, but... It's more than that for us. It, it's the it's the bond. Uh, it's the fact that you know, ninety five percent of the time, more we're best friends and we're business partners and you know we're straight ride or dies, man. We're two we're two gang bangers, homie. We're, we're two bank robbers. Me and this dude, you know, five percent of the time, this dude probably mad at me, but <laughs> but, but, like but ninety five percent of the time, the experience that we have and. It, just the magic that that we get to, uh, you know, roll through together is is something that um, is very very special to me. Yeah, I, I could see that, bro. Fuck I, you the can money, tell. man. This this is about us. Bro. Oh, one hundred percent. The money just makes it that that just makes it a sustainable facts thing to chase your passion. That's right. You know, you don't have to go do nothing else. You said it perfect. Exactly. You know, the money just is a is a means to an end. Well, but the fact that you guys get to work together seven days a week. 
Um, yep. Yeah, man, that shit's that seven shit's, days, that not shit's six days, dope. seven <laughs> days. No days man. off. No days 14, off. No days 14 off. years old. He comes after school, man. This guy's kidding. Yeah. He's out here. Nice. Hey, dog, you out here out hustling motherfuckers that be claiming they hustling out here. Real talk. Real talk. Shit, that, like that. that reminds me of shit, man. Me and Chad, we, we, we had a, our pops, we had a construction business. Same thing. When I got out of high school, I'd, I'd go down, meet, meet up with them wherever they were in the Bobcat and dump truck, and same thing on weekends. So that's dope, man. So see, we could all a we, good work ethic, bro. We could that's all relate. Dope. We could all relate to that. These guys with their pops, bro. And I, you know, I know their pops, dog. And he's he's the same way, bro. Like the fact that they all fucking work their ass off, dog. But they work their ass off together. So when you're doing that and you're you're actually fucking like busting your ass, bro. Like no joke. Like that's good shit. Something like yeah. this isn't something. This, this isn't accidental, dog. People look at like they just look at at, at what you've like where you're at, not Straight what work. it's taken to get there. Right. Yep. They see the end. They don't see all the fuck ups, all the fights, all the failures. They don't see none of that. They don't see the hard work, dog. Selling out of a trunk. Yeah, exactly. They don't see that shit. They see the social media and the nice picture. They don't see all the other bullshit. But when you're when you're able to fucking have oh, that man. kind of work ethic, um, father and son, like yeah. I said, man, that Jay can relate to it. Chad can, me and Dom can. So yep. that's why I knew, you know, when we first met. I think we met last year. Um, I think it was Duke Day. Duke Day. Shout out to motherfucking Juan Ray, my Facts. brother fucking Fisher. Facts. That was fine. I know Duke dope, Day 2 is coming up soon, so y'all stay tuned. Um, I think we met there, and, and I seen it. I was like, man, I, and I hadn't even started the pod then, right? Yeah. But I knew um, once you guys said that you guys were opening up the shop, I know you guys were there down there at Knob Hill for a while, right? Yeah. Um, shout out Banco. Shout out Keys. So once shout you guys moved Zay. up here, once you guys moved up here, dog, I knew I was like, all right, the first fucking... First pod that we do mobile, we got to pull up, and that's where we're going to fucking do it. It just made it made sense to me. Yes. So, like you said, out the trunk? Is that where you guys started? Out Pop and trunk? trunk? How many yeah, shoes yeah. you guys start with? You know? Oh, man. Jeez, I don't know. It's been a, it's been a progression, man. Where he says it's we came out the trunk, man. He's not just saying that like as a euphemism, man. He means it. Uh, Y'all were popping trunk. For right. real, though, you, you ask anybody that's known us for a long time, the other resellers in town, they'll tell you, man, these guys used to pull up <laughs> with trailblazers <laughs> full of shit, man. For real. We were doing it. We, we were out here doing it, man. We were really, man, we were on it. We were getting it before we were getting it. You feel me? So did you guys see um, that down here in the Duke there was an untapped market that needed somebody to – to kind of hone in and like no focus. Question. Yeah, I mean, as, as we started, everyone always told us we need something out here. We need the shoes. We need the shoes. And it was just something that I feel like it lacked. And people told us we need it and we need it. And finally, we got tired of people not being able to express themselves with their shoes. So finally, mm -hmm. we made action. For years, they've been telling us that, man. For years, they've been telling us, open up a store, open up a store. Actually, to be real with you, the store was because of him. I'll bet. That wasn't that wasn't me. He pushed, you know, years, years of people telling me, man, it took my son to be like, Dad, what you doing, man? Let's go. Let's go hard. Let's let's do a store. I'll start a Instagram page. He did that solo. Man, that's he gets credit for that, man. That was on that's him. That's dope. That bro. wasn't even me. Real hey, shit. we gotta fucking make some motherfucking noise for that. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's that. That. We gotta make some motherfucking <laughs> noise for that. You know what I'm saying? That's we got the applause. We got the applause here, bro. Got over there? We got Leonard's theory right here, okay. but Leonard ain't here. As y'all can see, Leonard ain't here. Shout out to Leonard. Hey, shout out to Leonard. And hey, I swear to God, I didn't kick him off the pod because he was talking about flat Earth shit on episode 13, right? We so obviously the audience tuned in. Y'all realized we skipped a week. Man, I had DJ Quick last week. Leonard had to go out of town. We just had a lot of shit going on. Yep. I said, fuck it, man. Let's take one week off. And I got so many messages. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is there no podcast? I'm like, bruh, calm. My, oh, my youngest says, calm my down. Calm, my, calm the fuck down, man. We had shit we had to do. And I wanted to, when we pulled up for episode 14, I want to make sure that this was right. I didn't want to be rushing. And last week I was rushing around because we had DJ Quick at the L Ray. Shout out to Six. Shout out to Reloaded Talent. Shout out to everybody that pulled up to that show. Shit was super, super dope. Um, 
But for 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 those of y'all that know, Leonard's supposed to be here, but he's not. He had some family obligations out in Texas. I swear I didn't kick him off because he <laughs> believes in flat Earth. We just, that's another conversation. That's a little question. That's another question. conversation. It's we'll okay. have when when Leonard comes back for episode fifteen. Best believe we get him back in. That is a little. That is a little Kyrie, <laughs> Kyrie Irving. Hey, just a little. Right hey, there, but hey, shout out to Leonard. Hey, shout, <laughs> out to shout, Leonard. Out to shout out to the homie out Six. To Six have been in the store. We love that. Do shout out to DJ Quick Man. Yes, he's from man. my hometown. Yeah. Dope. You already dope. know. Yeah, man, that was a dope show. It yeah, really was. Dope. Quick's the name, safe and sound, making dollars makes sense, man. That's that's what I grew up on. You yes. know what was dope? Like I was up there on stage, obviously drunk as shit, right? Um, but when he was up there, he had his, his beat machine, right? And he was going through hit after and I was like So many Damn, years this motherfucker yeah. twenty he just years, kept 30 going. Years. Bro, I thought, bro, I, I low key, I think Quick's still on stage over there at the L Ray right now. We here. had the Almighty Spice One in here oh, uh, man, maybe a yeah. month ago yeah. and we another we just, legend. We started listening to him, man. He literally had 35 years yep. of hits. He was showing yep. us stuff in the store. He was doing with Tupac. Yeah, it's crazy. He was walking around the store going, blah. He was doing the whole thing. <laughs> crazy. Man, it was they amazing. He was shooting on that hoop over there. Hey. Yeah. And he cashed out. Shout out Spice <laughs> One. Spice, man. Yeah, oh, Spice, dope. bro. He's Legend. Been, he's been at it, bro. He's been. So, talking about that. Man, I see that Spice One ain't the only one that's done pulled up on no, the Duke sir. City Heat crew, right? At all. So, who is your, and I mean, now I, I hate to use the word most famous, but who's your favorite famous artist, uh, fucking uh, athlete, whoever athlete. the fuck it is, that pulled up and cashed out here at Duke City Heat? That's um, easy. All of them were real cool. All of them were blessing to have, but hands down, Trippy, Trippy Red. Ray. Hey. Yeah. That's dope, dog. Yeah, so was. how did how how did that happen? Did did they hit you? Did they send you a message on yeah, IG? Yeah, yeah. So, how the fuck um, that link up? So one of our homies, shout out to Mitchy. Mitchy Bruce go, uh, shout we, out. We were out here, they do the studios and everything out there at Skybox. Uh-huh. And uh, one of his artists, Chris King, shout out Chris King. Um Hell yeah. he, he was looking for some kicks. Mitchy told him, Come see my boys Duke City Heat. Dope. They pulled up. Uh Chris King thought it was pretty fire. So he FaceTimed Trippy Red. Hey, fam, we got we got all the kicks over here. Trippy said, uh, "Come pick me up. Uh, let's go." Dope. Bad. A couple dope. hours later, they finished recording all their songs, everything, and pulled up. And I don't even know how many Suburbans. There was like eight. And this, you guys were still on Knob Hill when that still happened. Still on Knob Hill. And there ain't, for everybody that isn't here in the Duke, there's not a lot of fucking places to park over there at fucking Knob Hill. That's fine. <laughs> so they pulled up in a whole fleet of Suburbans? Yeah, a whole fleet. Yeah, those that's, dudes are for real, man. That's dope, bro. Dope. He brought his girl. Shout out Sky Morales. Did they, he? Uh, they were amazing to us. Did he get any holy grails? Did he walk away with any, like, he caught heater heaters? Heat. Uh, he, caught, he caught Grinches. Oh, okay. He yeah. got the Grinches. So he came through. He wasn't playing. He wasn't playing. No. Hell no. His whole crew got heat, too. Bread Fours, Rookie of the Years. Man. They 1995, all got heat. 1995, Sacramento, Tans, Deadstock. Oh, come on. He knew what he was looking at. Trippy Red knew exactly what he was looking at, man. That dude was informed. And see, that's the thing is you can, I mean, you could really always tell, bro. Like, it's different. Someone, who knows it and who doesn't. Yeah, it's different someone that's in the shoes and someone that's a sneakerhead. Right. Because, man, we sit there and have arguments. Like, when something drops, bro, like, I'm like, okay, cool, bet. But what does it feel like on foot? Did they change anything? Like, how close is it to the original drop? Does it have the Nike Air on the box? Or does it are. have the fucking Jordan? Look? Like, how's it going to come that's out? Us, right. You know what I mean? So it's all of us sneakerheads that's are all us. like that. You know what I mean? So... You can tell right away that somebody that just, you know, that they're in the shoes and somebody that's like can look and be like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Where the right. fuck y'all get those at? You're still missing the black militaries. Hey, yeah. I, I am. Facts. That's You're right, cool. bro. Hey, I, it, it isn't cool. We, we went. We went. They only had a 12. I'm, I'm, I'm a fucked up size. I'm a 13. So that was, bro, it's always hit or miss for me. And I'm not going to lie. This might fuck up my Nike sponsorship down in the future, but I stopped using the sneakers app, bro. I stopped Ooh. even trying. I yeah, took so over. many L's last year. It's over. I'm still scarred, bro. I'm still hurt. It's over. Yeah, no, I, I, I can't do it, bro. I can't do it anymore. It's not worth it because you sit there. And then at first I was like, I got a little lucky because nobody was going to fucking Dick's. Right. Dick's started dropping heaters I, the I don't same say time. That. We don't want people coming it's over here over. getting our wristbands, No, man. it's over. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> <Getting our> shit. <laughs> it's over, though. We don't fuck with sneakers either. Yeah. Never, never. Not one Duke City Heat nah, member fucks with sneakers. Fuck sneakers. Not, not at one. All. We're all real sneakerheads, man. We never, ever fuck with sneakers. Real hey, shit. was it at sneakers? Who, who was it? I just seen, I was watching never. the other day. They were saying that they, they pulled up and there was fake. Was it sneakers? 
that oh, Nike said they were selling. It was StockX. Stock Stock X. Stock X, yeah. Nike yeah. Tr- tried to pull the plug and say they were selling fake Jordans. Shout out to Nike they for keeping were. it real for us. Hey, Not bro. shout out to StockX. Yeah. Shout out to Nike. <laughs> StockX. Hey, yeah. I'm saying shout out to Nike, bro. Yeah. Shout out to Nike. Stop the fake, Stock X, man. no. Honestly, bro, growing up, um, I mean, I didn't grow up like we weren't fucking homeless or nothing, but we didn't have a lot of money, bro. Like we grew up pretty fucking poor. We had each other and everything, and that's all really that matters, bro. But I was never able to get like a nice pair of shoes, dog. Um, we shopped at Payless until I outgrew. Luckily, I got a big ass foot because when I was younger, Payless didn't have my size. So once I outgrew Payless, it was it was over, dog. Like the the first time I walked in like a real like sneaker store, like I went straight to the Nikes. Bro. I've always been a Nike head. Straight Jordan. Like straight to it. The my first pair of Jordans I seen you got a pair. There's some fucking up tempo Pippins. The black, the white on black. That was my first pair of Nikes. After that, it was a fucking wrap. Like for me, it was a wrap. After that, I had caught the bug then instantly. Yeah. Um, obviously, I didn't have money to be a sneakerhead back then, but. I always paid attention to it. I always respected the culture, and I always just, like, I, I, it's always been a problem with me. <laughs> Fucking shoes, bro. Going to my closet, like, my girl, she's got, man, I got the whole <laughs> closet taken up with my shit, bro. And it's all, it's all Nikes. So, for me, like, I fuck with Adidas, and I fuck with all the other sneakers. Like, I'm not, I'm not saying that I don't, like, Converse and, and yeah, all that yeah. stuff. But Nike, bro, it just holds That's a special it. place in my heart as a sneakerhead. Nikes. Yeah. What's uh? What's your holy grail? What's your holy grail? What's your pinnacle? Gotta have shoe. The number one. I know it's a hard question. I go with a Freddy Krueger dunk. Hey. That boy went right to the top. I know. Damn. <laughs> God, no. Do not pass go. What about you, Dad? What, what about you, Dave? What's your what's your what's your uh, your go to? For me, it's not something crazy expensive like that, man. I like bread fours. I like Bordeaux 7s. Uh, yeah, what are you saying? Conco- you got one shoe. Concord 11s. Those three. Those, <laughs> those three. I think those yeah. three are my, are my you top shoes. You could keep shoes. those in rotation for sure. Yeah, but look, if, I had, if you buried me in one of those three, I'd be cool You'd be with good. That. You'd yeah. be good. So right. I got to ask you a question, bro. He said, he said you, when you guys first started out, you, you sold a couple out your collection. Yeah. Is there any out that collection that you sold that you're a little salty about still? Oh, shit. Chicago man, ones. All of them, man. I'm all emotional, of them. man. Those are my kids, man. These shoes, <laughs> it's, hard to, it's hard to sell the shoes in a store, man. I saw some of these shoes in a store. And I'm like, damn, I wish I could keep all of them. You know, yeah, it's like yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I, w- I wish I wanted to sell sold my uh, 92 Olympic 7s, uh, my 92 um, Cardinal 7s. Uh, I had OG, OG uh, Aqua 8s, OG Bugs Bunny 8s, OG Damn. Bread 9s, OG Charcoal 9s, OG Chicago 9s. I had all those. I p- powder 9s. I sold all the Sacramento 10s. I let go to Trippy Red. Damn. Um, oh, yeah, man. We, we were, man, I had some fire stuff. What about stuff, Chicago's man. and Breads and Royals? All, all those, man. I, ha- I had, at some point, you know, I had all that stuff, man. It, it just had to go. So you weren't even kind of playing when you said Damn. it started with your pops. It all started. That's that man, bro. So I, I guess we'll go to the beginning then. What was your first, your your pair that got you started? What was your when you were younger that you got you knew you're like I'm hooked. Uh, my so my very okay, board very sevens? that was my second pair. I actually before that I was gifted a pair of fire red fours. Man, that's how damn old I am. Nineteen eighty nine. I had I was a kid and see in eighty nine. I was um, I was 11 years old. My very first pair. I didn't get see. So I didn't have a lot of money when I was young either. Uh-huh. It took me 11 years to get my first pair of J's, and then it took me uh, another three years before I got my second pair of J's. It yeah. was random. I got my first pair of J's. They were they were fire red fours, right here. If y'all don't know about Duke City Heat, hey, look City at City Heat. Look at that's check out pair, the logo. That's fire red fours right there on the box logo. We put him on there on purpose. That was my first shoe right there. That's dope, right, thank dog. You, thank you, thank you for that. That's super, super yeah, dope. Sir. Yeah, so that's my girl. That's that's my first shoe. <laughs> I think fours are my favorite Jordans. Yeah, um, I love yeah, fours. They, they, they just they just go with fours. everything. Once yeah, fours. and I, I like I like the idea of ones. I don't like them on foot because they're. Fucking uncomfortable, <laughs> bro. But that's just me getting older, bro. <laughs> that's just me getting older. Like, um, there ain't no fucking way I could ball in some ones. No I hoop in them all the time. Way. That's the only shoe I hoop Even in. Jordan busted up his feet in ones. Remember in that Man, game? Bro. His feet were all bloody. bloody. He was just saying that yeah, shit. I was just that's telling that's, Jay that's about old it. technology. That's 1985 <laughs> technology, man. It, it is, bro. So for me, dog, I think the most comfortable pair of Jays, like, like lately my go-to pair for comfort are the 13s. Yeah, that's a soft shoe. They're big. Facts. 
I got big ass, white ass feet. Mm -hmm. I got my ankles. I broke them motherfuckers like yeah. ten times. So I need ankle support. That's a comfortable shoe. Yeah. So my thirteens, bro, like they're they're a go to. I it's, broke his ankle like ten times. <laughs> hey, he might have broke my ankle real. like ten times, but I I beat him every time. He talks about breaking oh, my ankle, no, audience. No, no, no. Who wants twenty one? Hey, hey, hey. You, got, you guys should pull up. Pull up. Yeah, you oh, it's back. Shit. You it's back. It's back. Listen, no, it ain't. Hey, right. Firm this. Right before. Okay, let's see. Let's take it back to the first game of twenty one. Okay. He was beating me, right? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep it funky here. He was beating me, and his homie pulled up, and I'm like, "Look, fam, we got to start the game over. Your homie's here. We can't just let 15, him watch us play. Okay. You know what I'm saying? 21. I was about to turn it up, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was about to turn it all the way on. Okay. So I'm like, "Look, let's just start over. Your homie's here. I was being a gentleman about it. You know what I mean? I was looking you? out for Jay's homie. You? When do you ever really start was. a game over at 21? It's like, hey, just hop in. I looked at your homie. He was like, I want to play, and I'm like. Jay, he wants to play, fam. <laughs> you we got to stop. The one person in the world you felt bad I did, for. bro, for some reason. Like, <laughs> it got me right here, bro, right? So I was like, we're going to stop, fam. I was about to kick Jay's ass, but I'm going to stop. So we let him in the game, and I won. But I won it on a shot that I twisted my ankle on, and I was fucked up for like three fucking months, bro. I hit a three. I landed wrong. That's okay. You got the dub. I did. That's it was really worth all it. That hey, anyway. He robbed me of two games that day, so. though. <laughs> two games. Two games. I crawled off, bro. Yeah, nah. Like people only remember karma, the win. Dog. You know what I mean? That's all that matters. He said karma. Right. Karma, yeah. dog. It, was, it probably was karma. <laughs> yeah. See, I try to nah. look out for your it's homie. All, it's all love. I try to look out for your homie, and that's how my karma gets me, bro. <laughs> right. Man, See, universe. Whenever you try to be nice to somebody, Damn, dog, bro, fuck, just gotta get fucked up. Over. It's got to be a dick all the fucking time. <laughs> you know? um, so, are you guys like? Have you guys lived here in New Mexico your whole life? Where are you guys originally from? You guys from Albuquerque, Santa Fe, fucking Las Cruces, Española? Where are you guys from? Um, I was born in Santa Fe, so I'm born and raised in New Mexico. But pops is from uh, Los Angeles. Okay, mm. Cali. Shout out Lakers. Shout out Dodgers. Hey, let's go, bro. So when when did you get out here? How long? How long you been out here for? Oh man, I've been out here for twenty years, man. How long you been trapped out here? I hear people saying that shit all the time, man, and it kind of bothers me because you know I do miss home, I do miss LA. That's that's real shit, but man, I love it out here. It, it, people sleep on people sleep on us, man. We the crown jewel out here. They, they some people, as a matter of fact, Trippy Red didn't even know. That well, New Mexico Albuquerque was, is. Not just Trippy Red. Donald Trump didn't know New Mexico was a state, too. But Trippy <laughs> Red. <laughs> hey, shit, man. Google it, man. Yeah. You can see oh, it yeah. on YouTube. I know. I know. But, yeah. but, yeah, damn, that's, that's but, tragic. but damn, Trippy Red asked his boy, man. We were like, have you ever been out here before? He looked at his boy. He's like, man, well, first of all, where the hell are we? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and his boy was yeah. like, New Mexico. And, and he was like, New Mexico? Like, I'm not sure if he knew New Mexico was a state. And, and he was like, no, nah, we ain't. He said, no, nah, we ain't never been here. And, and Trippy Red was like, no, nah, I guess we haven't been here. I think it's kind of fucked up because, we, because New Mexico is the damn crown jewel of the Southwest, man. We 100%. have dope-ass weather. We have dope-ass culture. Okay, we have so much shit to do. We got the mountains. We got the tram. We got Lots lakes everywhere. We yes. got wicked good weather. Uh, we got damn... Uh, Speak bunches on of it. golf courses. Yes. Speak on we it. got dope golf courses. We got um, Broadway musicals from New York City and Los Angeles right here at Pope Joy Hall. We got indoor go-karting. We got... The, the literally the best music in the world, man. I, yes. I, I was blessed to hang out with Janet Jackson uh, right here at Isleta. Uh, we got some of the top fighters in the world yep. here. Uh, we, there's just so much activity. We got professional sporting events now. We got a professional soccer team. We got a professional baseball team. So so you know if, if you don't if you don't like New Mexico, man, just just straight up middle fingers to you because you probably, you right. probably don't even know that this is the capital of like some dope ass shit, man. A lot it of is. low rider shit, man. This culture. You know, I'm from L.A., so obviously, you know, I, I love California. But a lot of this culture, man, it originated from from little little cities, little pockets out here in New 100%. Mexico, man. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of dope, a lot of dope um, artists out here, a lot of dope musicians out here. And now you got one of the top, and I'm not trying to be egotistical, but real shit, man, you got one of the top shoe stores, in my opinion. And I've had a lot of people that shop around the world say this is one of the dopest shoe stores in nation. I mean, those, those are facts, uh, dog. Like, I mean, travel. We got yeah. twenty five hundred pairs of shoes. We got shoes that are two hundred dollars. We got shoes that are twenty five thousand dollars. We right. do Bape. We do Supreme. We do V Loan. We do Antisocial. We do ice cream. We do so much more than that. We do Jordan stuff. We do old school stuff. We do hype stuff. We literally have it all. We do stuff for kids. We do stuff for women. We do stuff for everybody, man. Nobody out here is doing this, and we're finally getting a little bit of recognition out here in the five hundred five, man. That's exactly what we're 
we're doing this for. We putting on for the city. So so I, I feel like I love Cali, but New Mexico, man, this this is a good spot, man. We love it here, and, and this is home, and and we feel real strongly about that shit, man. Real shit, man, brother. I shit, I couldn't have said that better myself. And everybody knows how the fuck I feel about New Mexico, <laughs> so I ain't even got to say it. You know what I mean? We love New At, Mexico. Yeah, bro. Like the only thing you left out, you left out one important ingredient. The girls are women. Oh yeah, they good. Fucking Ooh, gorgeous. They, they good. Hey, they good. they're dark. Y'all are they're curvy. Oh, yeah. Y'all are Facts. a little crazy, but ain't nothing wrong. No, with crazy is good. Ain't nothing like wrong with crazy. Not crazy is good. Like it's got to be a little bit though. Too too much one way, and too much the other way. It's got to be a balance, brother. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be a balance between, holy shit, she's fucking insane, and holy shit, she's kind of boring. <laughs> There's got to be a, a a middle ground there, bro. Because if you if you tilt one way or the other, you're toast. Man, you're, just, you're, you're toast, over. bro. Either way, one way or the other direction. Tragic. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's tragedy, yeah. bro. It's tragedy. That's, man, that's really fucking dope to hear you say that because that means a lot to me, bro, because um, I really feel the same way, dog. The state is overlooked, underappreciated, and we got so much dope shit out here, bro. You just have to get up off your ass and go. Like, it's not like you're just going to sit at home and it's going to fall in your fucking lap, bro. There's so much So to do much. Here. It's ridiculous. Oh, get out the house. So much it's to ridiculous. do here. Man, I've seen some of the best artists in the world here, both actual artists that do, like, like art art, and then I've seen artists like musicians, man, mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. out here, bro. Facts. And they come out here, and even they're like, man, this place is dope. Yep. We got a lot of good filming that's happening out here now. Yep. Johnny Bones Jones, you know, blessed to have him out here. You know, he's not from here, but he trains here. And, and he, he reps, he reps, he reps, reps New all day. Out of 505. That's yep. another real one. Shout out John Jones. That's another real one. So, you know, there's a lot going on out here in New yeah, Mexico. Yeah, Diego. Man. We had Diego Sanchez on the pod a man, couple pods back. Shout that, out that, Diego. That, that dude's a real one, yep. man. Another that's solid. Carlos Conde, it's a real yep. one. Uh, Clay Guida's a real one. Uh, we we got it. All those guys love New Mexico. Uh, we were we were fortunate Shout enough. Shout out to, that boy Dan Argetta. I was just going <laughs> to Dan's killing it. Uh, New, New Mexico. He loves New Mexico. He, he trains here, too. He just made it to the UFC. Uh, congratulations oh, shit, to our boy. Yeah. Congratulations, my right boy. There. We proudly make some motherfucking That's fucking dope. Yeah, that's dope. Now. Now, one more time. So hit it again. You hit got it. Again. You got it. You got to wait till it goes down. Yeah, I see there you. Uh, Dan Arguetta. Bam. Bam. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. we proudly sponsor that dude, man. Do you feel, since we're overlooked down here, and people forget we exist down here, do you feel it's harder to establish an actual business? that is is like where you could carry tangible products and actually like we said earlier monetize it and turn it into profit Hell do you no. think it's no. harder or you think it's easier Way to get easier. in because there's not a lot of competition um it's not necessarily that it's just about kind of standing out and having something for everyone uh -huh. not just having the same stuff that some people always like the hype stuff everyone likes you and see ones but at the same time this is your one-stop shop we have everything that you could ask for we could always get you a pair of shoes we have all the clothing we have all authentic mitchell and nash jerseys we got the shorts we have it's our one-stop shop here we have all the hats shout out hats so fresh and clean one of the best partnerships we've ever had. Very blessed. Shout out Branko Branson. Yes, sir. Um, it's just it's just a one stop shop. You come in here. We're gonna get you fitted for sure. That's facts, man. He so. said it perfect, man. We also do some authentication in here. We we work real hard on making sure that we keep fakes off the streets of New Mexico. Hey. I'm like StockX. Hey. A lot of hey. a lot of a lot of there's there's people out here that are selling fakes, man. And, and oh, I know. Know. We take exception to it. We take it personally. Out here um, rocking the Mikeys. We, we've called we've called people <laughs> out. Mikey one and a half. We're, we're not gonna call them out right now, but we've called people out. There are people out here that are selling fakes. If you sell fakes, I'm telling you right now, we're coming for you. We'll call you. We'll DM you. Um, give give those people their money back, man. Don't don't play with that shit. You guys got fakes out here in the city. You got questions about it? Come to Duke City Heat. We'll take care of that for you. We'll Let y'all know it. if it's fake or not. That's Better right. not have Jordan no out here. Jordan one hundred Jordan, out, yeah. Jordan out here looking like Jordan out here looking like Shaq on the tongue. <laughs> out here, Jordan out here on every the every day. <laughs> it's seven eight. days a week. I've seen, break hard. I've seen some crazy ones. You know what though? I've, I've seen, seen some. Pregnant. I've seen some good. Oh, so have I. <laughs> oh, good. So fakes. have I. Good I've fakes. seen oh, some yeah. great fakes. Come to Duke City Heat. We'll show you the difference. Yeah, dog. Like I, it's it was a trip. Like I couldn't believe it. And my homie, he knew he was buying the fakes. He's like, bro, I know these are fakes. But he showed them to me. I'm like, dog. 
if I didn't know, yeah. there's no fucking way they're I would good. know. They're, they're getting, they're, they're good, bro. Probably. Just like with any, every day they're getting better. Even designer too, though. I mean, I mean, like all these like, Louis Vuitton belts and stuff. They, they've been, bro. They've, they've been for a long time. It's just now. I feel, I feel like honestly, bro. I feel hey, like the right. sneaker, the sneaker culture in the past like six years has really exploded. No like it, it used to be. Um, I don't know, more niche, bro. Like, like obviously, we were always there was always sneakerheads out there, but now I feel like it's like a super popular um, thing to do versus when it wasn't. Like, I remember people were just like, fuck, I got one pair of shoes. I don't give a fuck. I don't care what the fuck. But now I see so many people that, like, have really dove in and really, like, jumped into the culture. Shout bro. out to sneakerheads. Yeah, man. Thanks yeah, for keeping shout us out to the business. sneaker community. 100%. Okay. Thank you guys for keeping us in business. Man. Yeah, dog. And... I mean, you know how it is, bro. Like, they know, bro. Real sneakerheads will fuck. Like you said, bring them fakes. We're going to call you out. We're going to call you out on it, bro. That's why that we fucking, have. that's why that shit spreads so fucking fast. We what have. are those? Why do you think that spreads so fast? Because people bro. know. Like, what the fuck are those? I, I mean, but, and in the, in the same fucking breath, bro, I'm talking about sneakerheads. I'm not talking about someone that, obviously, if you don't give a fuck, whatever, rock whatever fucking shoes you want. I don't give a fuck. Dog. Go fucking rock some Walmarts, whatever, dog. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to sit there and be like, oh, this fucker's rocking some fucking shacks. Dial okay, it, don't, run don't, it. Don't be flexing and trying to tell everyone all oh, mine's better than yours. Yeah, if, I, if you go, if you wearing something. Yeah, like if you're that. on that, don't try and step into the, don't nah, step into the real. ring. Keep if, it real. Yeah. You might get toasted. Yeah, if you're going to step into the cat. ring, if you're going to step into the ring, you better have your motherfucking shoes laced you up. Know, we got a homie that got a lot of money and he straight up likes fake shit. And, and sh hey, shout out to the homie. Hey, bro, he's got a lot of money. Hey, the, the homie doesn't, the homie doesn't try, I swear, bro, the homie doesn't try to floss like the real you. He straight At up all. doesn't give a shit. And that dude got, he got real shit, real houses, real cars. But he'd rather rock the fake shit. Yeah, for him, he doesn't. He doesn't. It doesn't him matter. Doesn't Spend what, what, that much money on Travis Scott highs. What's he whipping a, a Camry? Uh, no, no. <laughs> at all. The boy, so, got, the boy got cars, man. Yeah, okay, see, okay, then okay. That, 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 that's that, where his money goes. That's where it goes. Yeah, I can not, dig that. Not all right, Mercedes all right. and BMW. Yeah. The boy got cars, but but he Dope. doesn't mind wearing the the fake two thousand dollars sneakers. Yeah, see, and and at that Everybody's point, different. That's, that's yeah, what I mean. At that point. Dog, if you don't give a fuck, and this is he this is, I'm talking sneakerhead specific, bro. There's not everybody's a fucking sneakerhead. Some people just don't really give a fuck. Yeah, they just like to yeah. look, and that's fine. That's, that's it. it. Whatever. I, th this cool. It fits me. I right, bet. Run it. Like, yeah, I, I ain't even tripping. Like, I ain't. Gonna, I'm never gonna call somebody out on that because I know I was the fucking dude with the busted sneakers. Same. I remember that feeling. I'll never fucking forget it, bro. <laughs> I had I had no idea, bro. I was like rocking some fucking Kmart's, right? Shit, they were man, the Jordash. Or some shit like that. I'm like, these are fucking Ooh, fresh. Got them poured in. <laughs> I pull up like the se first, second day of school in my fresh fit. And the fucking rich kids are like, damn, this dude's rocking Kmart shoes. I'm like, yeah, uh, I mean, I am rocking Kmart <laughs> shoes. They're like, we got the new Jordans. I'm like, damn, that's cool. And in nah. my head, I'm like, fuck, I want some fucking nah, Jordans. No, I got the new Jordans. Run them. Run <laughs> hey, <laughs> you used to have the fucking. My foot was too big. All them little foot motherfuckers, bro. I couldn't fit in that oh, shit, bro. Funny, they might have had money, but they had little ass feet. Nice that's little funny. size four. The little yeah. size four <laughs> Jordans. Like my sister up. You got them because you got them in the baby section, motherfucker. That's why you were able to fucking rock them bitches. <laughs> but, like, I, I, I'm, I'm that way, bro. Like, like Shaq, I seen an interview with him the other day, and it was fucking dope, bro, because he was talking about, he's like, I could have done this, and I could have got sneaker deals, and I could have done the, the expensive end. He's like, he but my shacks, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 My like shacks, I got them into Walmart, and everybody could rock them. He's like, we sold so many fucking pairs of, but, you know, for most, for, for the most part, people try and use that shit to clown on other people, bro. And that shit's kind of out of pocket, bro. Uh -huh. And I thought it was super dope of Shaq to say, you know what? I'm fucking Shaq. I got like a hundred. He reminds me of Diddy on, on Get Him to the Greek. He's like, I got 15 kookaroos. How many kookaroos? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Shaq's got business after business. So he didn't even need to do that. So he did his shoes in Walmart to give people that can't step into that realm a taste of what it is to actually have like a basketball sneaker, yeah, which was cool. I you thought know it's dope, and he still go, does that at Walmart. He'll go to Walmart and he'll like buy kids bikes and shit, and like I've been pay, watching those. Pay, Just yeah, pull that up. shit is dope, and that that's what people need to be doing when you have that. Type Every of time money. he checks out, go buy a bike, yeah, go like, get hey, a toy, go get something. Exactly, bro, and that, that's what that's how it needs to be, bro. Because if you have it, you should. Help people who don't who, who don't have it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We just, as a matter of fact, just the other day we, um, man, I hate to try to like 
say like we do this and, and we do that, but that's real shit right there. We we give back to the community in, in mm-hmm. certain ways. We ways need too. that though, bro. Shout out yeah. to the Barrett House. We were just at the Barrett House with them recently, trying to help out the homeless. Man, they they good people. Joy Junction, Joy Junction is next. Yeah. But uh, Duke City Heat really urges its its uh, its fans and its family and its friends to to go out and, and help the community. Y'all talking about you love the 505 and you buying up all this expensive jewelry and shit. Go buy some hats for the homeless. Go down, go down to second right, street. Go buy some water bottles. Go buy yeah, something go, that could really go help, serve. Go, go, go buy people. socks. Go buy deodorant. Go and buy all that stuff. We need it a lot now, especially in the northern part of the state because of the fucking fires, fires. brother. There's so many people yeah. that are out there and up there suffering right now, losing their houses, losing losing everything because right. of these all fucking fires. Everything. Yeah, like hey, can we give a shout out to the firefighters? Man, no Straight fucking up. shit, bro. Shout out to the fucking fire 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 responders. Much and love. Yeah. Shout out to everybody that's taking time out and nice. and and giving money. Or given given anything, given any time, any time or effort to go and help out there. Yeah. Thankfully, we fucking been getting rain these past few days. Yeah. I hope I haven't really had a chance to like check in and yeah. see how it's going up there. But yeah. hopefully, the rain's been helping. I know, man. I had I had some business out in Denver about like a month ago, like right when the fire started, right. and I had to drive out there. Like you hear everybody like, yeah, the fires, the fires, the fires. And I don't really watch the fucking news because the news is just Too full sad. of a bunch of fucking negativity. I got enough negativity in real life. I don't need to see it on the motherfucking TV screen. Yeah. So. I don't really watch the news, just hear it from people here and there. So I was driving out to Denver. I couldn't believe it, bro. The fire was fucking crazy. It looked like someone dropped a bomb on, uh, on fucking Taos. It looked like someone dropped a bomb out there in Vegas. The smoke was so high you couldn't see where the fucking sky ended and space started. Yeah. It was crazy. It looked like a fucking the Hiroshima, bro. It was it nuts, like bro. Nuke, bro. And what was even what was what tripped me out the most is once I got into to, to Colorado, right there, you got Trinidad right next to Raton, right? All the smoke was going there. And all the ash and shit. So it looked like you ever seen that movie, uh, that video game movie. What am I looking for? Silent Hill? crazy there's like this part where they run the sirens and like everything fucking goes black and there's ashes falling out of the sky that's exactly what Trinidad oh like. i remember that that's what yeah. Trinidad looked like bro Damn. and it was all coming from the fires so wow. anybody that's out here like you said bro not only are we a forgotten state um we're last in a lot of shit we have a lot of poverty out of here we we you know last in education and and we got a lot of fucked up shit down here bro so for for me and i know you guys are on the same fucking vibe the moment that I'm able to give back any time that I can, I instantly do it. Not because I feel like I need to tell people that I'm fucking giving back or I need to film myself giving fucking homeless people We don't stuff. even do that. You know I mean, neither do I. Right. Because, As a matter of fact, that's the first time that we ever said anything about that. And see, Ever. See, it's, it's, always, do, it's always no phones, no nothing. But we 100%. Do, we, do, we do do that, though. And see, that's, that's the thing is I, I'm not going to be out there like, you know, putting it on blast on social media. But at the same time, you still have to let people know that you are doing Doing that because people look to us people look to successful businesses people yeah. look to successful people to see yeah. okay how are they conducting themselves? we're gonna make sure that you feel what i'm saying make sure yeah. people show love 100 watch, watch our instagram Definitely. we gotta we gotta get back to the community you're we're, we're very on, blessed to be here everything can be instagram. taken in the instant you gonna see. You gonna see. Yeah, while we're while we're on this community community thing, real quick, shout out to Johnny at MGK. He's our brother. He's our family. That dude owns uh, MGK here in Albuquerque. And Johnny goes out into the streets and he gives away clothes to people that really really need it. He doesn't go to shelters. He goes oh. right in the boxes. Yep. He goes right in the damn streets. And that's some real shit. And Johnny don't ask for nothing. And Johnny don't floss that shit. And Ever. he don't try to do it because hey, look at me. Johnny just goes out and do it much love johnny mgk for doing that shit and being a real motherfucker out here and showing love to the 505 that's dope dog well i mean at the end of the day you can see you can see when somebody's doing it like because they actually care and you can see when somebody's doing it when they're trying to make it about themselves you know what i mean and okay yeah you're right you can't see it you can see it and then even though even even then bro even then even if those fuckers are trying to make it about themselves like uh, we can all see that shit but at least they did you actually did. help somebody. We always you feel that. what I'm saying? Hell like, yeah. okay, I see it. I'm like, damn, dog, Hell that's yeah. a little out of pocket. I wouldn't have done it. it that way. But <laughs> fuck it. Homie <laughs> did need those shoes. Still Homie yeah. did need that pizza. Homie did need that water. You Still feel what I'm saying? It, so it's hard to just sit that's there right. and shit on people because, I mean, even though, like I said, I wouldn't do it that way, I'm not, I'm, that's just not the way I do things. Yeah. But 
at the end of the day, at least they still did help. Show love to the 505. Because yeah. yeah. we need it, bro. It, it's, it's, it, and, you know, bouncing back from, from the pandemic and everything that we've been going through, people there's a lot of people out here struggling. Hurt, dog. Man. Yeah, there's a lot of people out here That could be your struggling. brother. That could be yep. your kid, man. Roll the window down, man. Hand them a damn bottled water, man. You going out to get your Starbucks for $6, a cup of coffee, man. Hand a boy a dollar, man. Yeah, Give the boy a bottle of water, man. Sleeping on your community. That shit's unacceptable. I know Jay out here. Jay keeps the same thing with me. He keeps a case of water. I keep a case of Word. water. I pull up. I might not have fucking Fetty out to give somebody, bro, but I'm like, hey, it's hot out here, dog. Here's some fucking water. Hey, bro. man, yeah. do At that At least shit, anything man. helps. Do that shit. My, my girlfriend hey, that, and her that's daughter. That's respect. That's respect. They put a little bag together. They got a little bit of fruit in it, a little a little water bottle that cost them nothing. And, and her and her and her 70-year-old mom and her 17-year-old daughter, they go out into the community and they hand these bags out to people. That's yeah. real shit. Three it girls, is. they do it. Just so if they can do it. We live on moderate moderate incomes. We all come from nothing. If we can do it, then, then y'all could do it too, man. Y'all out here buying. It doesn't take much, bro. You buy yeah. Everybody thinks, sneakers, everybody's like, when I get money, when I get money, it's like, you don't need money to like give back. Not bro, really. case yeah, of water, four dollars. Yep. Case yeah. of water, food. That's that's thirty two you know I mean? waters. Yeah, yeah. Shit, even that's a, more than enough. Honestly, bro, I'm gonna keep it all the way funky here. Sometimes it ain't even about giving them something. Sometimes it's about time. Your facts. Even Sometimes, to them. yeah, yeah just energy. just chopping it up with somebody, like, yeah. and treating somebody like a fucking human being. You know what I mean? Yeah. You see a lot of a lot of people, like I see it, like they're just like removed, like they don't see the world that's going on around them, bro. They don't see the people that are right in front of them suffering. Like they're just like closed off to it. They're in their own bubble. Sometimes all it takes is like, hey, fam, you good? Like, all it takes is just like a. a, a positive type of fucking energy sometimes to chop it up with somebody that's having a fucked up day or or a fucked up year you know what i mean sometimes that's all it takes is you being a person to another person just put yourself in those shoes just for a minute man it could be you it could be a family member man some of those homeless people man they're not just trash man they're they're mm -hmm. forgotten but some some of those people man they were us yep. they fell on hard times they're not all losers and drug addicts i hate it when people do that so do i oh they're they're a bunch of drunks they made bad choices man fuck that dude that that those dudes some of those people had jobs Yep. Some of those yeah. people have families. families. Well, yeah. why do you think they made cho those choices, bro? There's like it's, There's de it's deeper than them. On, just, just not don't judge, man. Yeah, exactly, bro. Exactly. Just don't judge. Duke City Heat is about not judging. Duke City Heat is about giving back to the community, man. Duke, C Duke City Heat is about loving everybody, man. We don't we don't judge you based on race, creed, color, uh, religion. None of that shit matters, man. If you if you out here, if you New Mexican and, and, and you struggling, man, we gonna help you. That's real shit. That's that's man. man that's that's good to hear, bro. Because we need we need more of that, bro. We really do. Um, you know, we have more of that in our community. Like like you said, bro, we're we're our culture and our gente, bro, like we're really close knit. Like there's there's not too many removed people. Like if you go down the line, another person, like even two people removed from you is gonna know this person. We're all connected down yeah. here. That's why when shit happens down here, it feels more raw. Because Facts. because it's like an open wound, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like in a big city, like you're from LA, right. right? So you know, it's too big. You're not connected to people. You're not. You're disconnected. It's too much going it's on. It's more. Yeah. It's more hyper focused in just your like close, yeah. close people. But down here, it's like yeah. everybody's your close people. Look what it's the community's a, done for us. Exactly. Now you you see our Instagram. Our Instagram is almost strictly uh, reposts from the community that's dope. From, our showing love. from our people we yep. sometimes sometimes we wake up to 30 40 50 crazy stories sometimes a day I, there's no way and I, we're so sorry that we can't post all your stories but our instagram is almost strictly all day from morning till night sometimes we'll post 20 times a day none of those are our posts those are all reposts community. from the community that's dope so you you talking about new mexico coming together being hyper focused and loving each yep. other and shit that, that was a perfect way to put it man look what they done for duke city heat man yep they lined up in the morning 10 a.m we open up that game man they out there it ain't just dope. about the dollars man it's about the city yeah it's about the 505 the man. and i can say that 100 dog look what they did for me exactly you know what i'm saying yeah. like I, I since the day since the moment my career started brother i always wanted to throw the state on my back because this is who i am this is where i'm from that's like, what we're doing my now. people yep. sprouted from the dirt out here dog like we've been out here so like i always knew like that like, like people always ask me that i'm like well i don't know any, like what the fuck am i gonna how would i represent something else bro why the fuck would i do that for one and how the fuck <laughs> would i do that that's not me that's not where i'm from i don't know that i know my perspective i know how to represent where i'm from and who we are mm -hmm. and i'm gonna do that shit to the motherfucking casket drops yeah you see that and, shit right there it says new 
Mexico, yes. man. It's on every damn. It's yes. on every damn shirt that that we have, man. Albuquerque. It's, it's a new it's right there, Albuquerque. Trippy Red wore a shirt during a sold out concert, man. The shirt said Duke. C. Oh, I he, seen that. Albuquerque. Oh yeah, that's finest, fire, man. bro. Dope. Fire. He that was that out in Denver, own. huh? He yeah. did that on his own. We yeah, didn't. Not you can't, ask for you that. can't ask somebody to do shit like that. He did that Is on it? his own. That's dope, bro. So we trying to have other people that touch other people. You know, he got twelve plus million followers. Yep. Yeah. We're trying to have people like that also show out for Albuquerque, put us on the map too. You know. Well, see, at the end of the day, dog. Like, let's keep it real here. The energy you put out comes back that's just how oh, it yeah. is bro that's why when when right, well, like, goes around, comes around. it really does that's how the fucking universe works i mean sometimes bro you you hit some speed bumps that just is what it is bro there's Life. there's shit that that happens fucked up it just just is what it is dog it's not gonna it's not gonna change but for the most part you get what you put out and you get what you put in so i can just look at your guys's fucking store just being here and i know it's been blood sweat and fucking tears. You guys didn't accidentally get here. This is not an accident. It was all premeditated. You feel what I'm saying? And it was the energy you guys put in to building this. So same thing with the energy you put out to people. It's the same shit. If you're a fucked up negative person, you put out fucked up negative energy. Yeah. Guess what? You Your whole energy. shit's just gonna be <laughs> fucked up and negative. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. So I know this. I know this one chick. I ain't gonna throw nobody under the fucking bus. I ain't gonna say, say no names. Name. I ain't gonna say it. no names. <laughs> Fuck her, her up right now. Her name is fucking... <laughs> What's start with? Hey, What's her name with? is Sally. Sally. Lala. I don't even know any Sallys, but her name's Sally for the sake of the story. Bro. I hate you, Sally. Hey, she's super <laughs> negative, bro, and and she's always been super negative, bro, like her whole life, and I don't know if she was probably passed down, bro, like, you she's know... from the valley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, Sally from, valley. Sally from the valley. <laughs> Sally from hey, the valley. Hey, super negative, dog, and, and I swear, bro, the, like, wildest, most negative shit always happens to this chick, bro. Like, out of I think nowhere. I, I think I know Sally. He does know Sally. <laughs> I do know Sally. Hey, he does know Sally. Hey, one time, listen... Out, out of nowhere, bro, like, her fucking house just, like, caught on fire for absolutely no fucking Aww. reason. They had no idea why. They couldn't figure it out. They couldn't tell if it was a fucking, if it was a, a an electrical fire. That if someone a, tried to stop. a bad energy Ooh. fire. It was a bad energy fire, yeah. dog. Tragic. Hey, yeah. I'm telling you, every yeah. fucking day it's something else, bro. Yeah. And it's because she's always had that vibe, bro. She's Stuff. always carried it with her. When she sees somebody that's, like, being successful, instead of, like... Being man, I should use it like they come from where I, where I come from. She throwing that shade, and not even like she wouldn't even put it like project it out like massively, but she would internally have that shade, yeah. and it would rot and fester there, and it just brings that type of energy your direction. It's like I could picture like a fucking like, like in the cartoons, bro. She's like there's like that cloud raining, fucking dumping rain. Yeah, it's just, it was just over her. We'd be we'd, everywhere, bro. Yeah, that's fucking hilarious. negative, so. dog. Negative. negative I just yeah. a negativity pop. Car just blow a bomb. Yeah. Exactly, bro. Like <laughs> you out of nowhere, bro. Shit'll just it, it just goes that way, dog. So like if you feed into that type of energy, that's what's gonna come your direction, bro. And I've always looked at it this way, bro. Like what. Somebody else, like somebody else shining doesn't make me shine any less. So why are you like trying to throw rocks at, at that? You should be inspired by that. You should be motivated. Should make you push harder. Yeah, it should make you like, yeah. especially if they come from where you come from. It's like, okay, damn, we were in the same position four years ago. Homie kept working and I fucked off and now homie's paying dividends on the seeds that he played he, like what he's his seeds are, are are he's harvesting right now bruh and i'm over here still fucked off bro we bring we we nobody nobody buys more from new mexico resellers than duke city heat we are bringing up so many youngsters that's one, dope one of the homies in here is 14 years old he's the same age as my son he be he be he be out here doing his what's his name can we shout him out what's his name on, on ig what's his name what's that youngster's name that's always in here dang man I can't remember his ig name man uh. We got a young dude who's always in here, son. So anyway, we got resellers nonstop in here. Shout out Angie U Kicks, man. Shout out the boy on ice, man. He got a dope ass store, man, down the way. Shout out Banco. Banco be selling some shoes now. Shout shout out to um 
Uh, shout out to, to Next Level Kicks, man. Yep. Uh, much love to John. Um, shout out to Ruben, man. What's, what's Ruben's name? On, on uh, Kicks by Leo. Man, Kicks by Leo, man. Shout out to other local New Mexico resellers. That's dope, dog. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Go go follow them. Go show them love, man. We ain't threatening. We trying to have did them y'all, come up, too. Is, did y'all just dope. see and hear that? Did y'all just see and hear that? It Damn. did not take anything away from what they're doing it's to big up. up other people that are doing they what they're doing. Too, man. There's enough for all of us man. to go around. NM Kicks for you, 505. Dope. Little, Dope. little Jacob Justin, man. Dope. Let that dude get paid. How about Duke City underscore Kicks, man? Let that young dude get paid. He's like Eat. 16 or some shit like that. Let these dudes get... And, and next level Kicks, 505, man. Let, Hit that shit. Make that some motherfucking noise. Let that boy get paid. <laughs> Bear Town sneaks. Some of the best sneakers you could ever find. That boy got Air Mags. He got crazy. You want some crazy He might shit? just supply me with them Freddy Krueger. <laughs> <laughs> we are not scared to show love to, to people that show us love out here in, in the 505. And GU kicks, man. Those guys are go grinding hard, man. Those guys, duck walk kicks, That's man. Go dope, see our bro. boy bro. Dylan. Dope. We're not scared yeah, to lose this, money, right? man. Go show love to people out here that are grinding hard, man. The New Mexico got a lot of dope shit, man. Go show love. Love to the homie Carmona over there at Essentials on Central yeah. and Broadway, man. He when we were nobody, that boy Carmona was like, man, you guys are gonna be somebody, man. You guys go hell That's hard, dope. Carmona. That he he he. Man, had shout a out shot. to that boy Carmona. Facts, man. That dude that dude told us from the beginning, man. You guys should open up a store. You guys are real motherfucker. That dude never had no hate in his heart. Shout out to Ever. all these dudes out here, the the Drip Collective, man. Shout out, shout out to all these dudes, man. And see, realistically, bro, I, and people say this shit all the time. Going back to talking to New Mexico, dog, they'll say New Mexico don't support. Da, 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 da. I've always thought that was bullshit. I always thought that was just what people like a small fraction of people would say because I didn't see it from that perspective. Right. I've always had support always from my state, love. dog. Like always. And I think it's it like it goes back to what you project. How good does that feel? Oh, it feels fucking amazing, yeah. bro. Like no, honestly, bro, nothing feels better than that. To have your fucking state rocking with you and know they got your fucking back 100%. Or, but I think a lot of people that say New Mexico don't show support or anywhere that, where they're from, anybody that's like, oh, man, I'm from here and they don't support me. It's not about that. Like, it's not about they shouldn't instantly have to fucking support you, right? Yeah. You don't get support just because of where the fuck you're from. No, you you have to fucking earn, earn it. it. Yep. Right. You have to earn it. Yep. You have to give them something to support and a yep. reason. And you don't, and don't be a fuckhead. No one wants to support a fuckhead, bro. Yep. I see these motherfuckers all the time, bro. I'm like, damn, fam, like, like, who the fuck do you think you are, bro? Like, people out here trying to chop it up with you and like be like a person with you and like you out like you up here and they're down. Fuck all that. I'm in the trenches. Let's run it. I'm going to talk to whoever, however, whenever, dog. I'm approachable always. That's just who I am, bro. And I think that's that 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 shows, dog. That's why I've garnered support because I support too, bro. I'm not scared to do that because it doesn't hurt what I'm doing, Word. brother. It doesn't. It doesn't. There's enough for all of us to go around. It helps you. It does because then you fucking network. You build a fucking solid Word. base of people that can always fuck with you. Make it. Because if they're doing it's what you're doing, right, there's some times when... They might have a plug that you didn't realize you needed. And you're homies with them. You're close with them. You've been supporting each other. And you're like, oh, but damn, you got a bet. And they could plug you right in. Speak that shit. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not just about getting what you can to be successful and holding on to your own little corner of it. Because the, the harder you hold on to it, that corner is going to shrink, bro. <laughs> it's going to shrink. This is about yep. community. To 100. Us. Community. Let's go. And we're going to hit Leonard's fucking theory because Leonard ain't here. <laughs> Sonny be hitting the butt buttons. Yeah, Sonny's hitting more uh, buttons than Stevie did at the end of Stevie's hey, episode. Right. So let's <laughs> one. I just got one thing hey, to say to actually, Leonard. He actually spit a flow earlier. Hey, uh, hey I just got one too. thing to say to Leonard. The earth is not flat. <laughs> <laughs> Leonard, shots fired. Bang, bang. Shout out, Leonard. Shout out to yeah. Leonard Shout out, out Kyrie there in Texas. Irving too. The, the earth hey. is not flat, Kyrie. Hey, um, <laughs> so how long, so when did you guys open the first brick and mortar? When did you guys step into store? From the When did you guys go from trunk to store? Was it May? Was it May of last year? We did three months. We did three to four months in Banco. You know Banco. You know Keys and Zay, right? Yes. Shout out Banco. Shout out Keys and Zay. Those are some real motherfuckers. Keys and Zay, let me just say this real quick. They were pioneering out here 
in Albuquerque, New Mexico, before a, before a lot of motherfuckers knew yeah, about Everybody just riding the wave now. Now they've they been on. <laughs> they've been on Supreme, Babe, V Loan, all that all that streetwear shit, all that mm-hmm. Jordan shit. Air, That's all Banco. Air Kai is honestly real shit. That was the homies at Banco. So shout out to Banco. If y'all don't know about Banco Knob Hill Ventures Boutique down there on, on Central Mountain. Go Manor, check them. For real, go check them. Those are, those are other dudes. That's and go point. see the fam. For, for real, go see fam, man. Anyway. Um, yeah, shout, shout out Banco, man. So is that how y'all ended up in Knob Hill area? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they gave us our jump, man. They were, the, they were the ones that were like, man, you guys are really popping, man. We want you in here. We know we know what your guys' yeah, ceiling it was, is. It was amazing. It was a lot you of know, fun. And, beca- and because of them, uh, the mall the mall here <laughs> found out about us. And um, it was really interesting how, how the mall happened. We had a homie here in the mall, as a matter of fact, that – Put the mall on, and the mall was like, "Man, let's go. Let's get you guys over here." Dope. Shout Dance. out, Johnny. Another shout out to my uncle Another Johnny from Show MGK. Shout out, Johnny MGK. And then, uh, so really, all this, all this is due to our, our jump over there at, at Banco. We we were only there for three or four months, and then obviously the opportunity at the mall happened, yep. and uh, we've been here now since uh, December sixteenth. So, 16th, you, so you guys months. are only on about a year, give six, or take. Six months in one week here, and three months at Banco. So really, nine. Only months. nine months. Nine Damn, months. dog, that's fucking fast. We start. We only started over there, at Banco. Just say, so I know we started with. 600 shoes and now we're hovering in in we could say nine yeah, like business. 2200 22 to 2300 pairs of shoes already yeah, well nice, see that's bro. one thing that i've noticed because man i i'm i'm all over the country well at least the south southwest region of the country yes, sir. sneaker stores you guys have a fuck load we you'll pull most. up you'll pull up to sneaker stores and it's like damn y'all don't got my size or man i'm looking for these but y'all ain't got them or like you got the man there ain't been one time except for a couple with, with i'm a 13 so i'm hard anyways bro and every time i've pulled up a it's lot. been late it's been i'm like damn dog, i missed out on the fucking military forces i still got them there we go see I see got you. i didn't miss out i, I didn't you. miss no, out so see that's the difference that i see is you guys are fucking locked and loaded you guys are stocked the fuck up we travel everywhere me and this dude travel everywhere. We go from coast to coast. I'm talking about from New York City to Los Angeles to Arizona, uh, even our surrounding areas like Texas, Montana, uh, Utah, Colorado. I'm, I'm, and I'm, we're not, we're not being uh, like bragocious or trying to put ourselves on high. But I have yet to see a sneaker store anywhere except for obviously Urban Necessities in Vegas. Uh-huh. Shout out to the homie JC. JC My boy 2 J's. Hey, 2 J showed us a lot of love. He kicked knowledge to my son. Doors closed. Uh, Urban Necessities Las Vegas. See about our boy man at, at the forum shops. He is no joke. That dude came from nothing. That dude is real, man. He came from nothing. But except for him, and he, he got I, I can't remember what they said. I, th- I thought they said 5,000 or something like that. But except for 2 J's, and I've been all over, man. I've been doing this for 20 years. I have yet to see a shoe store that had the sheer volume yeah. that Duke City Heat has. I haven't seen any of We're going to have 3,000 shoes, I would assume, in the next, like, what you think, a couple months? Yikes, bro. 30 so days? So that, that sounds, uh, sounds a little like expansion to me. Oh, uh, Duke City Heat 2 coming soon. Ah. <laughs> Segue right into the expansion. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna bring in. Th- you gotta pull up to all the pods. I don't like pressing these buttons. That's funny. I don't like it. Sunny. Hey, there goes Leonard's Aye. theory again. Aye. Hey, get it. Hey, get it, son. Hey, uh, yeah, I dog. That's you. tell him. I, I'm. I'm. I, I noticed, bro. That was the first thing I noticed when I walked in. I was like, yeah, damn, sure. they got fucking everything. Tell we're happy. Yeah. We're happy to uh, serve the community. Hopefully, we're going. We're gonna uh, move soon. We're gonna have an expansion. We're gonna serve you guys multiple stores. Y'all come stay tuned. Come see us at Instagram, Duke City Heat. Y'all stay tuned. We got big moves going. Hey, there we go again. I think we just need to combine Leonard's theory with the clapping. At the end of the day, those things just need to be fucking combined, bro, because they'd be going off. Leonard, bro, you're not here, but you're here in spirit, brother. (laughs) Every time we hit Leonard's theory, Leonard's here in spirit, bro. The earth is still not flat, Leonard. The earth is still (laughs) not flat, Leonard. Bring a globe out here. 20 (laughs) minutes past is still not flat, dog. dog. Yeah, bro. Hey, we we came here to check out the lights the other day, bro. And as soon as we stepped out, I I told Johnny, I was like, bro, 
I need to fucking step my shoe game back up, bro. <laughs> hey. I was like, I was we rocking Tim's, and I was hey. like, oh, that's dope. But man, this shit oh, right here, here. Don't even this you. shit right here, man. I got, I got some stuff in the back for you. Man. I told him, I was like, I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you guys up on that. Yes. I told him yeah, you can't you. walk into that store and feel like you don't need to step your fucking sneaker yeah, game up. Yeah, hey, dog. I no way, shape, or form need to step my sneaker game up. But when I come in here, I need to step my motherfucking sneaker <laughs> game. Up. Hey, we got a chandelier, man. If y'all ain't been to Duke City Heat, we got a chandelier out here in New Mexico. All right. We were a little bit bougie out here, so you know what I mean. We're trying to bring a little, a little fancy shit out here to New Mexico, man. Yeah, so, um, so you guys been at it here, brick and mortar, for like nine months. So, how long before that were you guys out the trunk? Ooh. Mm, years. Good minute. Years. So, did you guys handle most of your business like online? Like, how did you, how did you set it up? Like, were you, all local. Were, was it all? So, did you get up like a, an Instagram page? Just like no. you post pictures? No, of it was all offer up. Craigslist. Like, oh, damn. Craigslist. Man, damn. y'all were hustle, hustle. Yeah. Did you guys ever hit the flea markets? Nah, that's something nah, we didn't not do. Really. Nah, we did. But we, I, I feel like, I feel like the flea markets for me, like, I'm, I always felt like I'm like, man, this is probably, it's not, it's probably knockoff. Yeah. That, it, it was always that vibe. Not saying that it always was, but anytime I seen it at the flea markets, I would always kind of just like question. I'd yeah, always yeah, just kind of yeah, go yeah. past it because I never felt like like I don't know. I, I could be tripping, but it just always didn't feel like it was going to be legit. Usually from the flea markets. That's what I expected from the flea markets, though. Yeah. I went there for a deal. Get Yo, the poo yeah. for, Well, I went there for like speakers and shit. Yeah. You got a poo boo chat <laughs> rocking poo boo. Hey, Facts. remember poo boos? What was another no. good good knockoff? There was a few good ones, bro. Um. I remember Poo Boo though was really, really, really big, bro. I'd, I'd, uh, or I'd, you'd get Jay's, the Jordan would be all fucked up. It was always the Jordan. I'm like, he was chubby. He was like, he was damn. You're like, that ain't chubby. He was that chubby. Jordan, was Jordan when he retired? Yeah. Or what the fuck are those? Yeah. The retired tens? What the fuck are you doing? You can see his butt cracking. <laughs> his fucking yeah. ass hanging out, bro. That's Two hilarious. arms. Nah, he's we, not dunking a basketball. It's a soccer ball. We never oh, did that. He's dunking a football. We never did. We were blessed, as a matter of fact, with, with, a lot of, with a lot of G's, man. We were blessed with a lot of dudes in this town that, that were real, true, hardcore. Um, they were like homies, man. And once you get in tight with a shout out, OG Joe, OG Joe, much love to you. He kept us in business for a long time. But if they seen that you guys are out here on Craigslist, dog, that's a hustle hustle. No, for real. Like, yeah, we used to do things out on Craigslist, Bruh. on Craigslist out in Vegas. Wasn't selling shoes, Bruh. you know what I mean? <laughs> but seven years close, but it was out in Vegas. Brother, ask people yeah. about Duke City Heat, and they're going to tell you about, like, Walgreens parking lots and, and, oh, yeah. and fucking bank That's parking dope. lots. They're going to they're gonna tell you about... Did you guys do pop-up shops or anything like that? Nope. You, know, you know, we never really did that. We were literally grinding in the streets, man. So nope, when you no were shit. out the trunk, was it du- It was always Duke City nope. Heat? Nope. He okay. started that about a year ago. Did you guys have a name? Okay. Nope. You guys were just sound shoes. Yeah. Yep. No name. Who gives nope. a fuck? You don't and need a name. Here's we're the shoes. Duke City Heat. Again. He likes Get to it. do both. Hey. Get us uh, you can't. It don't, uh, it don't let you hit it like a fucking drum pad. Me and Jay are trying to work. We, yeah. we got to work around for that. Yeah. Uh, we got to work around. Get it, boy. Sonny on the fucking <laughs> drum pad again. <laughs> Yeah, hey, dope. my youngest son, you know what he does when this is in the studio? He'll just, every single time, it doesn't matter what the fuck's going on, he walks straight up to it and turns them all fucking down, plugs it in, and he's like, look, daddy, red, green, blue. I'm like, bruh, bruh. <laughs> this kid, bro, and we're about to put it, it's, we're going to record, I recorded this week. Shout he out to Johnny me, James, kid. Hey, brother, little fucking, little A-Ron, bro, my youngest, that kid is a trip. Shout out to his big kid, too, man, much love, man. Hey, this one's bro. for you, A-Ron. Hey, hey look, here goes Sonny, this one's for A-Ron. <laughs> He'll pull up, bro. And now he tells everybody, everybody that wants to hear his all, it's a New Mexico podcast. He tells me, New Mexico podcast. Dad. I don't know where the fuck he got it from. I've never said New Mexico podcast. That's no cool. idea. That's crazy. No clue. He's just like, New Mexico. So we're going to record that shit. Yep. You'll see it. It's going to be, well, we got a tag coming up here pretty soon. And it's yep. a fucking New Mexico podcast. That's you up. feel me? Support. Came from Aaron, bro. Little kid's funny, dog. He'll walk up. I'm tiny. He sees all this stuff. He sees it, bro. He sees He sees it. Same thing with Dom, though. Dom was always there. Whenever I first started, bro, I was like, when I had Dom, I was 16. So we were all freestyling like a motherfucker when we used to have ciphers, right? It was me and all the homies. And this guy would be in diapers, and we'd be passing him around the cipher. When it was your turn, <laughs> you'd hold Dom. And then when it was the other person, they, 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 Dom would go around, and he's like, he'd stand in the middle of the cipher when he could stand up, and then he'd sit there and they'd go like that. <laughs> That's funny. This guy low key has bars. He does. He just, he, you know what I'm saying? He does. He got tucked away. Hey, I made a beat with him, dog. He, oh, you man, I forgot about that. He made a beat. He made a beat. I'll Damn, say, how old were you when you guys did that, Dom? You remember? Probably like 
Yeah, he was like 10, huh? Damn, Damn he was like Johnny's. I'm, I'm a, no, he was Matt's age. I'm going to pull that up. Watch, pull, up pull up that, that up. fucking beat. Pull yeah, y'all fuck up again. I'm releasing that right shit, now, Dom. But, but Johnny James kid for real, real shit has some dope ass, fly ass Air Jordan 1 Rebellion. <laughs> hey, where'd you, right hey, you get that from? <laughs> I got them from. Where'd hey. you get them from? Duke City Heat. Yeah. Well, <laughs> technically, technically, he got them from me, and I got them from here. If we're going to keep it all the way funky, you get know again. what I'm saying? Get him again. One more time with clap. And the Leonard's theory. Hey. hey. That drum don't belong yeah. in there. That was. Dom's like, hey, I'm working now, motherfucker. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Johnny James' family with the fly shoes on. Hey, man. Yeah. I appreciate it, brother, man. It's 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 dope, dog, to see you guys out here grinding, brother. We need we need it down here, bro. Like we need it to if 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 anything else to show people that come up behind us, it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter what you used to do, where you come from, what you used to have. If you fucking want it, just go get it. Get up and go get it. Point blank, period. Man. There Simple. No, there ain't no excuses, man. I'll tell you right now, man. I hope y'all are listening right now, man. This boy got a regular mom and dad. This boy started with nothing. His mom, she sells cell phones. She's been working in the cell phone industry for a long time. She's very good at what she does, but his mom sells cell phones. All right, his dad been working in restaurants for a long time. I, I, I ran restaurants for, for, for a minute. This boy don't come from a family like Benjamin Kicks. You remember Benjamin Kicks, of course, right? Yes. Yeah, of course. So Benjamin Kicks, obviously, you know, he started... Uh, lucky, you know, ahead of the game. He he started fortune, you know. Yeah. He, he had a family that, that had money. This dude started in the streets of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Real talk, with not that much, with a few pairs of shoes. The point that Johnny James was making about dream hard, work hard. This dude right here is the example of it. This is a 14 year old. I'm so proud of my son. This is a 14 year old who started with nothing. It'd be different. If Duke City Heat had a bank account, yeah, it'd be different if we had a family member that gave us fifty grand or a hundred grand. Yep, it'd be different if we had a partner, if we had credit cards, if we had loans, but we don't. Not one. Duke City Heat was started by a fourteen-year-old on his own, and he's grinded every day after school. Seven. Eight, you come here, he gonna be here. Saturdays, he's bell to bell. Sundays, he's bell to bell. Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays and Man. Fridays, he's bell to bell. He's here from morning till night. This is his dream. Y'all can do it too. 100%. Hey, man, yeah. dream hard. Work harder. Facts. <laughs> that shit. Shout out, Nipsey. Man. Another one. I'm going to let Sonny hit it. I ain't even going to do it no more. Sonny's taking over the buttons. Re really, though, bro, that, that's a work ethic that doesn't exist on a big scale anymore like shit, work ethic in, in, general, in general bro i mean like i like shit me and my brother do construction we'll re, we do remails whatever the fuck but none of my friends dog i have i have like two friends but they live out of state and they that's the work they do that's it work ethic is not in everybody's life and everybody's you know people aren't determined to get ahead they just want to get by you know what I'm saying? So you coming through after school, doing whenever you can be here, that's the way to get ahead, bro. This boy's out in the community, too. He just ain't in the store, man. He out in the community, man. This boy's out Dope. in homeless shelters, okay? This boy's out there. This boy's taking care of his grandma. This boy's showing up for mm. events. This boy's being good to his mom. He's being good to his dad. This boy's loving his community, too, man. It's not just here in the shoe store, man. Don't, mm. don't think for just a second that... This is some rich kid that has a store. Well, Don't shit, think shout, that. shout out to his parents, bro. Shit, for raising him like that. I know he wants to hit it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, but real talk, bro. Thank you, you know. bro. I mean, you know? it, 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 you. it has to, I mean, it starts there, dog. It really does, bro, because that's just, it's just, you know, it's got to be in a person, but they have to be led down that path from their parents bro it's got to come there first dog and then it's up to them after that to take it bro and not a lot of people have that like they want something but they don't for, for one they don't know how to get it okay that starts there so they're scared because they don't know how to get what they're trying to get and then once they figure out a way to get it 
nine times out of ten, people aren't going to do it because it's a lot of fucking hard work. It is. So people will be like, damn, I didn't realize it was it was that much work. I Shout didn't realize I to, to put in that much effort. Shout out to the hardest working man. We lost him. Cancer killed my dad. But shout out to my dad. Shout out to Grandpa Dave to, to lead us, to show us the way. Uh, sad he couldn't get to see this. Uh, but we do this for him. Shout out to a dude who worked tirelessly seven days a week uh, up until just a couple weeks before he died till he physically couldn't he, he walked around in a walker uh working he owned his own business uh he didn't take off sundays i do work seven days not six days he worked seven days you have to uh, shout out to my dad man shout out to to his grandpa grandpa dave uh who hopefully gets to gets to see this from from up high Man, bro, I feel that, dog. That's my, a hard one. He right there. Y'all can't see, but he right there, man. He's right there. He's watching yeah. over the store. Man. Oh, man, I didn't even like notice that. that, bro. Yeah. I didn't even notice that. I was going to ask you about that picture. Yeah, yeah. yeah, man, there you go. Man, I didn't even there notice that, bro. Look, look at my son's screensaver, man. And my son's screensaver shows love, man. That's my dad. That's my dad right there. And man, my son, that's bro. my son. He was little there. He is right there. That's, nice. that's what Duke City, he started from right there. That man, dude dog, that's, you guys keeping him with you, bro. You already know. How long has it been since you lost him? He, he, December second. Yeah, December second. Damn. Lost. So it's man, you guys just lost him. Yeah, it's been it's been hard. That's uh, awful, brother. It's my hard. condolences, yeah. dog. It's yeah, it's yeah, rough, bro. Losing losing the parent, yeah, it's not easy, bro. It's not. Yeah. It hurts, he was a good bro. one too, man. But he he anyway. He taught us he taught us the the, the hard work shit. Now he he paved the way. He's See, responsible yeah, for. That's this. what I mean. It's 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 got to start somewhere, dog. Like it 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 starts with example, right? Um, hard work isn't just something that accidentally happens. It's okay. passed down. You see it. So if you see somebody that's like, oh, this motherfucker ain't doing shit. Oh, I ain't going to do fucking shit. Mm. You got to pass it Speak down. Speak that shit. You got it. Like, you just, you got to pass it down. Your kids look at you. Even when you don't think they're looking at you, the motherfuckers are looking at you. They're paying attention to what you're doing. Like, everything. Shout out to good. parents that care. Yeah, good and bad, bro. There's times I don't even realize. I'm like, like, I'll hear them say something. I'm like, damn. We're fucking listening. <laughs> I didn't even know they were listening. Where the hell were they listening from? They weren't even in the same room. Shout out to good moms and dads paving the way for a better future. Shout yeah. out to you guys that, that sacrifice your guys' life for, for your kids, man. Shout out to, to parents that work hard and love their children, man. That was Shout out to Mama Dukes. Already. There we go again. Oh. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, man. It's... It's just it's something that we got to keep passing down, bro. And we gotta we gotta we gotta pass it down to the generations below us to carry the torch, because like Jay said, it's not that prevalent anymore. You don't see people just out That's here. That's sad, man. Right? But it's I true. mean, it is, bro. It really is, bro. You you don't see people out here. And I say this all the time, dog. And I've said this on a couple of podcasts, bro. Like the world changed, obviously, with the pandemic. People went home. People were watching Netflix. People got complacent. Um, we're naturally, I feel like, like naturally, humans are easily led into laziness, right? We have to kick our own fucking asses to say, nah, fuck that. Wake up. Go. Go. You got to talk to yourself. Like, you're, you're your worst. Now. Like, inside your head, you're not going to want to do this shit. Like, some shit's not fun, bruh. Owning a business is fucking 99% fucking hard fucking work and stress, bruh. It really is, though. People think it's just all fun. Dog, it's fucking Wish not. It was. Yeah, that'd be fucking dope, right? Great. But it's not. It's the payoff after, though, right? Like, it's all worth it. I'm not saying that it's not worth it, but people, so with the pandemic, people got home, people got in front of Netflix, and people got lazy, right? And there's a mixture of that mixed with the fact that people were like, what the fuck was I doing? I was working a dead end job that I fucking hated. I'm 39 years old. I've been working this job I've hated for the past 15 fucking years. That's me. The pandemic. The <laughs> pandemic said, "Why am I doing this?" That's me, man. Did that happen to you during the pandemic? Were yeah, you like, man, "Why the fuck am I doing this?" Man, I got tired of restaurants, bro. I got tired, man. My son was my saving grace during the pandemic. We decided to get busy. See what yeah. I mean, bro? That we talk about that. Yeah. We've talked about that multiple times. You either decided. You either decided to be lazy and do less or you said let's push fucking harder. go time to push this boy right here made me get busy that's man. good bro that's good fuck that shit man we had to go grind and now i bet you never go back home hell no I mean, shit, look at look at it look at this no. motherfucking wall man yeah see what i mean it, it allowed man. you bro hell you yeah. you either decided okay i'm gonna make a change for the better i'm gonna learn something i'm gonna start a new business and i'm gonna rock it and i'm gonna i'm gonna work my ass off to get here or you went on the other end of the spectrum, and now people are struggling to get back into the mix of shit because 
their everything in their bodies telling them not to because they're not used to it anymore. They don't want to do it anymore. Yeah. Because it's easy to fall into complacency and be lazy because I feel like humans just naturally lean that way. We got to constantly be telling ourselves, nah, 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 nah. Shout Fuck out that. to Sonny Roberts for not letting me get complacent. Give yourself a Get hand. it in. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, shout good, out to bro. Duke City Heat for not letting me be lazy. Yeah, <laughs> no, you, you got to, bro. Like, it's not, it's not easy, bro. Getting up at 5 in the morning. And and handling business before everybody else, that's not easy. That shit, oh, it hurts. I hate waking up for it. It doesn't feel good, dog. It doesn't. There's not one time when I wake up super super early like that where I'm like, man, yeah, this. I constantly got to tell myself, nah, get Let's the fuck go. up. You have to talk to yourself that way because if you don't, your body's gonna say, nah, it's cool. Mm -hmm. Take it easy. No, do let's it get tomorrow. the ball rolling. Let's go. Do it tomorrow or do it the next day or just do that now and then take it easy. Take a break. Tomorrow's not fucking promised for one. If this fucking pandemic Man. showed us any of that, it's not promised at all, bro. Mm -hmm. And the way I look at it, dog, well, I'm healthy. As long as I got fucking air in my lungs, I'm going to do what I want, when I want, with whoever the fuck I want to do it with. That's that For me, that's the goal. That's the dream. That's the success. Being able to get up and work on what I want to work on, when I want to do it, how I want to do it. I'll never be able to go back to doing anything but that. Yeah. Shit, I, I just seen a, a Floyd Mayweather video <laughs> where he, uh, but yeah, that, that's what he says. And he's all, he's all, the ultimate goal is to, is to wake up when you want. If you're waking up to go to work, you're, you're waking up for someone else. Yep. You're going to work for someone else. So the ultimate goal is to work for yourself, obviously, and you can wake up and go to work if you need to whenever you want. Word up, man. You ever mm -hmm. listen to Nipsey? Uh oh yeah, fuck hustle yeah. to great. Oh, I think I think his 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 mic real quick. Did we get we get unplugged or what? I think it's just right there. Check oh, you. Oh right by the Tragic. back of him. Yeah, just just push it up. Tragic. Is this thing okay? okay. Oh there we go. There we go. If y'all ever Tragic. have an opportunity to listen to Nipsey. Oh man, Nipsey is oh, one of the greatest of, greatest of all time. The way that he talks about. No, this thing ain't no good no more. Watch, plug it in the put like back the the. Help me. I think it's just in the uh, back of your mic, brother. Yeah, watch. Check. Okay, got gotcha. you. Word up. If y'all ever have a chance. I've got a little technical difficulties. Yeah. yeah. Let's hit a little break. Yeah. This, Go ahead. Hey. Hey, shout out to Nipsey Hustle. Yeah. Hey, rest uh, in peace, Nipsey. If y'all ever have a chance to listen to Nipsey Hustle in the way that he talks about grinding and coming from nothing. That dude's he's one man, he's one of the goats, man. He's he's super real, man. Man. Listen to how he talks about coming from nothing. Yeah, his whole his whole everything in his music everything is he was about, about getting it. It's all yeah. true. Yeah. It's, he, and it's all it's all motivation. Nipsey made motivational music, one hundred percent. Especially if you're from the street. I mean, not even not even just from the streets, bro. But if you are from the streets, it hits even deeper because you know there's a lot of stories in there that you can relate to. He came from nothing, absolutely nothing, and they built it. Mm -hmm. They reached pinnacles that nobody ever thought they fucking Hustle could. Hustle and motivation. I opened Man. up for Nipsey and at Leo's. Bro. In 2012, yup, right there, Ladon pulled it up. Look at that. I opened up for Nipsey Hustle August 14th wow. at fucking at Look Leo. At shout shit. out to Leo's. I wish y'all could see this. Hey, show the camera that yeah, shit, man. Shout probably crazy. might not even bring it up. Shout out to uh, shout out to Leo's. Shout out to DJ Remains. I opened up for Nipsey. That shit was crazy, dog. And he was just like he was. He just pulled yeah. up and like he was just one of the regular motherfuckers that was there at Leo's, bro. Like he wasn't on like. And that was he was already grinding out here, bro. You know what I mean? And if it wasn't like okay, I'm gonna keep it all the way funky with with you, bro. Nipsey was the first time that I decided when I seen. His clothing, and he came down here, bro, and his clothing game was cracking, and they had their own fucking shop, and he was printing up all of his own shirts and shit. That was the moment that I said, fuck, I'm going to start printing up my own shirts. What the fuck am I doing? I'm yeah. leaving so much money on the table. He's doing it. Damn, I need to start printing up my own shirts. Oh. Ever since that show, I've never stopped. I've yeah. always printed up my own merch. I've always had it for sale, and I've ha always had it at every fucking show. Shout out my boy Joe D. He was the first one that actually screen printed my shirts, bro. So <laughs> since D. that moment, like you said, Nipsey, dog, he's on that motivational. It's that motivational music, bro. And I agree 100%, bro. And he was yeah. like that in real life, dog. Everybody like to get life. your gear. Come get your Duke City Heat yes. shirt. Yes. Shout out to Fully Exposed Graphics. Yeah, Mike, much love for you. Yo, shout out to the homies. Come get hey, we, your shirts. We got Sonny's mom. We got mama. We got mama Duke, Duke City Heat on the line right here asking where the hell's my son at. <laughs> hey, 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 
Hey, you don't know this, but you you live on, on Johnny James' show, right? How do we get how do we hey, get her? Hey, Uh-oh. put her right up against the mic, right up against right, the go, mic, go Mom Dukes. You're, you're on Respect the Connect. Welcome to Respect the Connect, Mama Dukes. Hey, hey, hey! Where's my son? It's late. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny James getting Sunny in trouble. Hey, hey, my bad, moms. We about to wrap this up. Hey, we we we, we just sitting here talking. We talking shoes. We talking entrepreneurship. It's such an early age. You got you got a good kid. You got a good kid here for real, Thank for real. You very Thank you so much. He'll be home that. soon. Okay, I'm waiting. Man, this podcast <laughs> took an interesting twist, huh? Yeah. That's what you when you got a 14 year old. Hey, no. Nah. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm 37 and my mom's called up on the podcast yeah, the other day, too, bro. So don't get it twisted. Know, he's coming home soon, MG. All right, bye. The Mama Duke City right there. Hey, Shout that's out to Mama what's Duke up, City, bro. Man. That's what's up, brother. Hey, before, hey. before we go, Johnny James, we, we, me and my son, I'm going to speak for my son right now. We, we got to show a little bit of love out here. Hold on, I got one thing to say. Run it up, Duke City. Shout out to Depot, the owner of Paletta Bar, Potato Corner. Facts. We appreciate everything you've done for us. You've changed our whole perspective. It always told us to keep it pushing, never stop working, always keep going. Don't stop. Put your foot on the gas. Keep your head up. We appreciate you, Depot, for all the love. Word. Depot came from nothing, man. He's amazing in the community. He owns Spring Rolling. Uh, he owns Potato Full Corner. Cut. He has Full Cut. Man, hey, Depot, he's a real dude, man. He helps the community. Uh, Duke City Heat is all about community, but I want y'all to know something real quick. This is super important, man. Y'all pay attention, focus in on this. Duke City Heat is only possible because of the people that are around us. It is only possible because of the community. It's only possible because of the 505. Uh, so we're super grateful, and, and we love you guys, and I mean that. We're not just saying that. We mean that. But the reason that Duke City Heat is the way Duke City Heat is, and we are turning into this, this cult-like um, it's just it's turning into a craze, man. You know, and, and and we are becoming this because of our staff. And if y'all have ever came to Duke City Heat, you have touched OG Magic. You have touched our family. You have or touched Duke City Heat family. Angelo. You have touched John. Little John. Okay. You have touched Big Bear James, man. That's that's my bro, man. Uh, you guys have touched. Uh, Sneaker X Dez. If y'all don't know about Sneaker X Dez, she is the number one restoration specialist in the game. And she's right here. She's right here in the city. You have touched Daniel Beck, who is the nicest, kindest, sweetest young high school baseball player phenom that there is. Uh, you have touched Andrew. Um, and you soon, soon you're going to touch the homie Oliver. Uh, shout out Oliver! Shout out Oliver, man. He's he's a real one, man. This dude, this dude is he he he's a young guy, 17 years old, who who's going to be, uh, he's going to be the next star. Um, but if you've came here and you've seen the store, you know exactly what I'm talking about, man. This is possible because of the very best um, sneaker heads, people, people. Um, Shout out to OG Magic and everything that he's done for Duke City Heat, man. We we couldn't have done this without without Angelo. I want to say shout, shout out, out to, to Pork, Pork Chop. Chop. Uh, Pork. <laughs> they already knew. Oh, same time. let's go. What? <laughs> Beach up. Hey. So, Beach up. So what y'all need to know is that this is a brainchild of, of my son, but we went into business with the homie Brent, and they call him True Wise. And True Eyes is from Minnesota, and he owns hats so fresh and clean. Mm-hmm. This store is not That's just right there in San Mateo. Already. And like, like the Manal area, j- just north of Manal. He's uh-huh. been doing this now for 10 years. Shout out to Brent, man. He's he's our brother. He's family. I got a hat from him last time I pulled up to the shop. That dude's no joke, yes. man. He's, 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 a real, he's a real G, man, and, and we're very grateful. We're very blessed to have him. This store is actually Duke City Heat and hats so fresh and clean. So if you guys want some fly, fly, fly ass kicks, he has thousands kicks and hats. He has thousands of hats. He has had a new era contract for ten years. You can't even get Damn, a new crazy. era contract. They haven't had new new contracts for new era in three years. You can't even get one. So shout out to hats so fresh and clean. Uh, man, we keep losing that fucking mic. Shout there out to go. hats, hats so fresh and clean. Look at the shirt. Hats so fresh and clean. Support your local yeah. hustler, 100%. That Support shit's your fire. local hustler. I'm going to need, need one of them. I'm going to need yeah. one of them. We got you. Yeah. Got you. Bet. Thank you, Brent. Thank you, Pork Chop. Thank you to the most amazing. Duke ama- City Heat family. Thank you to the most amazing staff ever for making this possible. This is not just me and this guy. There's 
there's a lot there's there's uh 12 of us now 12 of us that make this possible and, and each and every one of you are just super important we Shout appreciate out baby y'all. john super dope brother dope, hey man. man dog it was fucking hella dope having you guys on the motherfucking pod well, thank you johnny james you. you're a real one hey, yep, man, thank shout you, out johnny james for being one of the most real motherfuckers you, out here in the 505 this dude is one of those people that is putting on for our cities putting on for our community we said shout out to a lot of people shout out to johnny james for being here thank you my dog i appreciate you guys Already. and i look forward to y'all's future, let me bro. Let me pull out them black military I love, I love, Hey, <laughs> let me pull out the black military force. Hey, I look forward to y'all's future. Um, I'm excited, dog. Y'all did this in 11, 10, 11 months. Man, I Shout can't out to, to Ruben, who always told us to do this. Yep. Shout out to Ruben, who's been telling us for a long Straight ass time. Straight out of the storage unit. Hey, man, can't get out of your storage unit. years. Shout out to Ruben, man. Shout out, what's, what's his IG? Kicks by Leo. Shout out to Kicks by Leo, who never hated on us, who was a reseller and was always like, you guys are going to do it. Make sure you get a store. He was one of the driving forces behind us. Shout out to Ruben, man. Real shit. You got to get it, bro. If these guys are a motherfucking, a, a, a shining fucking example follow your motherfucking path straight up well, work go. hard let's go dream big go get it on that note until next time respect the connect peace